Good afternoon, Pep. James from Sky. Um, how pleased have you been with this past week and also how much of your players kind of reminded you that they have the hunger in all competitions based on the performances against Burnley and at Shakhtar? Well, good, good morning. Um, sometimes when we have the tendency, even the managers, when, when we don't win the games, it's because we are not hungry anymore. So I think the analysis is more sophisticated, it must be more sophisticated. So it never happened. All the players want to want to want to play good play well and be 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 ready be part of of the team and we are lucky to have a depth squad with a huge quality and everybody knows when they have time to play they have to play, try to play good because just it, it 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 doesn't happen the other one is ready to you know to play and uh but it was so important especially in the champions league because in that period when you make one or two misses maybe you no, cannot qualify for the next round so the first stage of the season, the Champions League is so important. And after drop points against against Lyon in 1-0 in the first minute in Hoffenheim, the situation was critical. But we react uh, well, especially the last game in Donetsk, where we make when well, no, Kharkiv against Shakhtar, we we were good in a high level, and we are in the position is in our hands, and that's why it's uh, in that it's much better. Of course, it's not over. Yet everything can happen in that competition, but now it's time to focus in a, in the Premier League. But there are four or five teams, if it, you know, all together with the distant two points, and everything can happen. A lot of the big teams in the Premier League who have players at the World Cup have struggled to get the best form out of their players, and they've struggled with injuries. How pleased have you been with perhaps your staff and your strategy in making sure your players are now coming through that and they're playing their best football? We try to do our best always when when we do in that way and it works is because we are a genius or how good we are the medical staff and everybody but doing the same maybe we can have 10 injuries so sometimes uh, the consequence of your your actions you never know it's because that's the reason why but i have to admit we have an incredible medical department an incredible physios last season we were the best few injuries and i think that is the most important department because you can keep the players fit or alive in terms of no injuries is the 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 most value investment or the cheaper investment for the club you know, to pay the salaries for the players when you cannot play is the more expensive issue and that's why the department is so important and this is only just except one little thing from Gundogan the muscular issues we we are okay this game has been dominated by talk of, of the pitch at Wembley I'm just yeah. wondering a, how concerned you are about it, and whether you've done anything maybe here at the CFA with ground staff digging up the pitch so you've got to play in those no. conditions. It is what it is. I'm pretty sure that Tottenham had a good green keeper. Uh, it's what it is. So I think the Premier League doesn't like too much, and Tottenham neither, and, uh, but it's what it is. So uh, hopefully Tottenham can, can finish the uh, st stadium as quick as possible, but. Uh, is what it is, so it's not necessary to complain about that. So we have to adapt quickly, try to figure out the pitch will not be in perfect conditions and then adapt. So we have to play in that way and and we have to do it. But does that become a factor perhaps if, if you decide to play Kevin De Bruyne or, De Bruyne or no, not? No, no, no. So the pitch isn't when a factor in that fit, decision? When they are fit, they, when you have full focus what you have to do, you avoid the injuries. Normally, things just happen when you are not 100% focused. So when you take care of yourself properly and you are focused and knowing that the, the, you know, the pitch maybe is not in the best condition, you have to be ready, more ready than ever. And but no, no, it's it's what it is. We're going to take a decision which is the best lineup. You're going to see. Pep Don McGuinness, Talk Sport. Yeah. With that in mind, Kevin De Bruyne back again. How much of a problem is it for you with the team selection now? It's a good problem, I'm sure, but how, how big a, a decision do you have to make? Yeah, it's always always a problem, yeah. Always a problem because I am unfair. Guys are not going to play when one deserves to play. But it's, it's always it's like this. I said many times, when they play or they training in a bad way, they are out of the selection for themselves, but that doesn't happen. Always they train good, they try to do their best, and when this happens, it's enough for us, for me, for a lot of stuff. It will be tough, yeah, I know that. I will be in fair, I'm pretty sure of that, but not this, three days ago, four days ago, when we play in Donetsk, I will, I will infer for many players who deserve to play. And 
as a manager, how do you keep everybody happy there in that, that situation when inevitably somebody is going to be very disappointed? They are, first of all, they are professional, and the second one, they are upset during when they are not selected. During the game, they are not happy. After the game, they are not happy. But when they come back in the training session, they have to be happy. So it's not other solution. So they are professional, they know what it is. And the only way to play against and convince me can convince his, their teammate, his teammates, that is the most important thing. Because if they believe me in bad faces or bad moods or I'm going to show how disappointed it is, they will be, have a big problem because they are not going to play. So I understand completely, but the day we come back to a training session, because the next game is here, out there, immediately, and they can convince me uh, quite good in the, when they are who they are, so an amazing professional. Jonathan Smith, ESPN. You've made a fantastic start to the season, yet if you lose against Spurs, you could drop out of the top four altogether. Does that show just how tough it is going to be this season to win the title? Always is tough. It was in, the, in my third season here and always was tough. So I didn't expect uh, more than that. So nothing is going to change the opinion of my team. We're going to focus to try to win the game and, and do good, a good performance, knowing the quality of the a poor side, but it's not going to finish anything. So after that, Fulham, Southampton, Shakhtar, uh, United, and the, after that, the guy who is in front of you is going to have one week off. Well, a lot of people have been, have been talking about it being a two-horse race between City and Liverpool. Do you think any of those, do you think it's a five-horse race for the title now? I don't have doubt over that. So it's just two points difference in four, five, uh, six teams. So it means <laughs> they are so strong. You see the lineup, the the first eleven or twelve, thirteen players from from Tottenham Hotspur. Say, so the last four, five, six years, Tottenham is always there, always there. And of course, they cannot invest in players because they build an incredible stadium. The people say that, and it's a lot of money, and they don't have <laughs> you know more money to spend, but. Is a top side. So I said from the first year, it was my defeat, first defeat here, and I realized how strong they are. Last season we did it really well in both games, but the team continued being a guide for a good manager and a good, good players. Hi, Pep. Andy from the Press Association. Uh, James asked you earlier about, the, about your players and how they, they cope coming back from the World Cup, but do you think it, that's an issue Tottenham may have had early in this season? Some of that. I don't know. It's a question from, from Mauricio Pochettino. I don't know. Uh, uh, what do you think of their recent form? About? About Tottenham's recent form. What do you, you think of how they've been playing? Tom? The, our players? No, Tottenham. Oh, the injuries. No, how... how <laughs> Sorry, I don't understand you. How, how, what do you think of how Tottenham have been playing in the last ah, few the, weeks? Uh, when we see the game against Inter de Milan, for example, Champions League, or the last game at Pesce Doven, they were not worse than the, the, the opponents, even I would say where they were better. But again, that competition is special. In the Premier League, the numbers are the numbers, and the way they play are the way they play. So it's one of the teams I like the most to, to watch. I learn when I watch them. So a lot of international players, the bases are from internet, English team, national team, young team. They have good ki the good keeper, in the good strike. So. They have everything to, you know, to be there. Hello, Pep. Paul Valjus. Yourself and people from your staff have said that Tottenham is the team that, during the same game, um, has made you change the system uh, and the formation, like in several times. Um, what do you think about that? And if do you think that Tottenham is probably like a less common team in England? No, no. Is one of them, but not. Not. I think. Yeah, they they play with five in the back. Sometimes they play in uh, four for two, four two three one, and sometimes play in diamond. Like season start here in diamond. Um, so they can use it and change it again. But I think the quality remains. So. But is it like more demanding for you to have to change like during a yeah, game? Yeah, a little or? bit. Yeah, when when you know exactly 
the team is doing always the same, so it's more easy to control him. But we change during the game, and sometimes Ericsson play right in the middle or left, or sometimes play Song or Dele Alli or the other one. So of course they can they can change it. They pass four in the back to five. The way you attack, the way to defend, change it, and they have to be prepared of that. So it's a in a tactical way, it's a team like really well prepared. Okay. And just the last one. Uh, in the world of football, uh, it's going to be like the first Barça Madrid, like in 11 years, that is not going to have Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, do, do, do you think that it's like a hint that anywhere like is closer or something like that? Well, Cristiano is gone, but Messi is because he's injured. But I don't think he's going to be leave or retire soon. Hopefully not. So he's going to to, to come back in the next. There is not. It was unlucky because he's a guy who plays a lot of games. He's never injured, so he's a strong. So, but surely it's going to happen. But at the end, Barça Madrid, Madrid Barça is always a special game in Europe, the 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 game of the the week, in you know, all around in Europe, and it will be interesting to to watch it.